everybody, it's me, Kristen, reporting to you today for Schizophrenia.com. And I'm here in my bed because I'm feeling rather sick. My hair's a bit messed up. <laughs> um, hope you guys don't mind too much. Um, I've been sick for like a week or so, and so um, I'm feeling kind of nauseous still. So, But I wanted to get another video out to you guys. Um, I wanted to talk about... Um, a person named Deutsch wanted to know about some of my negative symptoms and how I cope with those and if I have a lot of negative symptoms like that would be like apathy um, lack of motivation maybe like even depression and um, if I have a sex drive and um, I guess expressing facially, expressing emotions and stuff like that. So, um, I have to say I, I think I'm doing pretty well in that area. Um, sometimes I do get kind of apathetic and hard to get going. It's kind of hard to get going on activities. But once I get going, I seem to do okay. Um, but I do have, he also asked about if I can wake up early in the morning and, you know, have a normal day. But my sleep schedule is really kind of messed up, so I don't often wake up early in the morning. Um, I'm usually awake at night, and um, I do have trouble waking up in the morning. So right now I'm trying to get my sleep schedule under control but it's really difficult um, I don't know if any of you out there have sleep issues but um, I definitely have sleep issues and I've also been diagnosed with delayed sleep phase disorder before so that is basically where you don't want to go to sleep until really late at night and then you can't wake up in the morning so um, and I think well, with the meds that I take, um, I do kind of sleep a lot, and it gets kind of frustrating because I don't really feel drugged out, but it's just that I, when I do go to sleep, I sleep for a really long period of time, so, um, so that's kind of why I'm not working full time, and it sort of interferes with work and school, but sort of managing, you know, hobbling along here and there. Um, but as far as my, like, facial affect goes, I think, I don't know if it's exactly, um, well, some people would argue that this is medication that makes you have no facial expressions, but I think it's probably the mental illness that does it. So, I usually have... I usually am pretty expressive in my facial features and stuff like that. And but I have some pictures. I guess I should maybe find them from when I was younger. Um when I was experienced psycho experiencing psychosis and like I didn't want to pose for the pictures and I was just like, <laughs> you know, I was just kind of like really like uh, spaced out. My face was really sad and I just looked like not myself at all. Um, and like people were like, why are you, why aren't you smiling in pictures and you know, what's going on? And so it was just like, I didn't want to be a part of anything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I wasn't my, usually I smile a lot, um, and so it was kind of weird for me not to be smiling and stuff like that. So, um, that's when I get psychotic and stuff. I tend to be really grouchy and I don't smile very much and stuff like that. But, let's see, as for the negative symptoms, I do, you know... So I do have some apathetic tendencies, I guess, um, or just like lack of motivation. 
Um, it's kind of hard to get started on stuff. Um, but then once I do, I seem to, like, be able to do stuff. Um, and, um, I don't, I guess, yeah, the sleep issue is messed up, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. It's really difficult to work with. Um, I guess I have an okay sex drive. I'm not really in an intimate relationship with anyone. So it's kind of like, it doesn't really come up that often, you know, it's like a problem. Um, and, um, and I'm not really feeling very depressed because I'm also taking an antidepressant. So, um, that was my computer talking about. Um, so I take an antidepressant as well as an antipsychotic and anti-anxiety meds. And so those all work together and um, they really um, do help a lot. Because I was really, really depressed too. So yeah, the, um, the anti-depressant um, really helps a lot. So I hope that has answered that question for right now. Um, maybe I'll go back over that sometime. Um, so I think that the combination of medications that I'm on really help to, like, I think the newer medication like Geodon that I take helps maybe a little bit with the negative symptoms and the combination with the antidepressant and anti-anxiety really, they kind of mix together and, I don't know, some kind of miracle, <laughs> um, miracle of modern science really, um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just dealing with the flu, <laughs> so can't get rid of that very well. Um, um, so I hope you guys don't mind me coming to you from my sick bed, and um, yeah, shoot me off some questions if you have any, and um, I guess that's it for right now. We'll see how this goes. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.